This is a video about how to solve young single slit and double slit problems. Let's look at a couple examples. Example A says we've got light with a wavelength of 500 nanometers striking two slits that are 0 0.045 millimeters apart. The diffraction pattern shows up on a screen 110 centimeters away from the slits. We're supposed to determine the distance between the central maximum and the uh, adjacent dark spot. And we're supposed to also draw and label the setup and intensity patterns. So um, in B, the light that strikes it is 530 nanometers, and it's incident upon a hole as opposed to two slits, um, and the hole is 0 0.045 millimeters wide. So that's just a coincidence that that value and that value are the same. Um, a diffraction pattern shows up in a screen 100 centimeters away from the hole. Uh, in this case, we're supposed to determine the distance between the central maximum and a second dark spot. So step one is to decide if the problem is a double slit, diffraction grading, or a single slit setup. In this particular problem, we're going to be looking at a double slit because example A shows that we've got two slits. But remember, for a diffraction grading, it's almost exactly like the double slit problems. Just realize that the double slit, uh, we're looking at the distance between the two slits as opposed to the distance between grading lines. This other example, example B, is a single slit, and we know that because it's just a single hole, and that's essentially what a single slit is, just a hole. All right. Um, so these are the things we need to know about Young's experiments. These are the two equations. This is the general setup for a double slit. Remember, this distance D for a diffraction grading, um, that's just the distance between grading lines. So lambda is a wavelength in all the setups. L is a distance um, from center, I'm sorry, yeah, the distance from the slits to the screen. Um, L for the diffraction grading is a distance from the grading to the screen, and for the single slit, it's a distance from the slit, the single slit to the screen, or the hole to the screen. D is a distance from the slit center to slit center in uh, the double slit, so essentially that value right there. For the diffraction grading, again, it's the distance between the grading lines. For a single slit, it's the size of the hole, so if this is the hole, D is a distance B, um, it's how wide the hole is essentially. X is a distance from the center bright to the mth center bright um, for the double slit. For the diffraction grading, it's a, a distance between the center bright again to the next center bright. For the single slit, it's a, um, X is from the center bright to the M center dark. So notice that that is the thing that's mainly different about these setups. So M for the double slit and diffraction gratings are the same. The whole integers are where the bright spots are. The half integer values are where the dark spots are. Single slit is different. The center bright is where M is equal to zero, and then the center dark, or the dark spots, start with M is equal to one, two, and three. And so here are the intensity patterns. So the intensity patterns for uh, the double slit, the intensity pattern for the diffraction grading, and finally for the single slit. One thing that you should know about the single slit is that the center bright region here is very wide. That's, um, a, that's due to diffraction. So that's important to know. So all of these are patterns are due to diffraction and they're also due to interference. So the two important principles here is our interference and diffraction. Those are the actual physics concepts. All right, now, 
step two, what we'll do is we'll draw the setup. So the setup is just this part of these problems. So the 500 nanometers um, strikes the two slits that are 0 0.04, 0 0.045 millimeters apart. Okay, the diffraction pattern shows up on a screen. So here's the screen, here are the slits, and so they're 110 centimeters apart. Okay, for example B, the hole is 0 0.045 millimeters apart, and the slit is 100, that should say millimeters, 100 millimeters away. Now, next what we want to do is we want to draw the intensity pattern. So this is what intensity, the intensity pattern looks like for a double slit setup. Okay, so the central maximum is right there. It's the brightest center spot. Um, right next to it are, um, is an adjacent, then bright, then dark, then bright. And it's the same on the other side. Dark, then bright, dark, then bright. On the right hand side here, the center maximum is bright, okay, but for single slits, remember the M is equal to 1 starts with the dark spot, okay, as opposed to over here where the dark spots are half values. Um, so there's uh, M is equal to 1 on either side of the bright, and then an M is equal to 2 on um, the other sides of the M is equal to one spot. Okay, so let's make a list now of the things we know and the things that we don't know. Okay, so the wavelength we said in this problem is 500 nanometers, L is 110 centimeters, D is 0 0.045 millimeters. We don't know what X is, the distance from the center bright to the M center bright. Um, Let's, um, but we do know what M is. So M is one half because it is asking for the adjacent dark spots. Okay. Um, we don't know what the angle is, but that's not what the problem is dealing with in this particular setup. So we'll ignore the angle for the time being. On the on example B, our wavelength is 530 nanometers. The distance from the slit to the screen is 100 centimeters. The slit width, again, 0 0.045 millimeters. The distance from the center bright to the M center dark, that's what we're looking for. That's our unknown in both of the problems. In this case, because they're asking us for the second dark spot, that would be M is equal to 2. And again, we're not concerned with the angle in this particular problem. Next what we want to do is we want to convert our values to meters. So anywhere we see a centimeters we can replace that with times 10 to the minus 2 meters. With millimeters we can change that to 10 to the minus 3rd. With micrometers 10 to the minus 6th and nanometers is 10 to the minus 9th meters. So this 500 nanometers will be written 500 times 10 to the minus 9th 110 centimeters will be written 110 times 10 to the minus 2. 0 0.045 millimeters is 0 0.045 times 10 to the minus 3rd. Same over here. Again, that's just coincidence that they're both the same values. The length on this side is 100 times 10 to the minus 2 meters and 530 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. Now that we've converted to meters, let's choose the correct equation. So here are our two equations. We have that equation or that equation, depending on what we're trying to solve. And because in both cases, we're trying to solve for x, that value x, we're going to go with this equation. If it asks us for theta, then we would definitely be going with that equation. But in this particular problem, we're going to use this equation for both. Okay, so there we go, we're choosing that equation, and we've got to plug our values in. So on this side, we're going to put one half in for M, 
500 times 10 to the minus 9 for lambda, the wavelength, 110 times 10 to the minus 2 for the length, and D, 0 0.045 times 10 to the minus 3rd, and we get an answer of 0 0.0611 meters. On the right-hand side, we're going to put 2 in for M. Our wavelength is 530 times 10 to the minus 9th meters. Our L is 100 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. And finally, D, 0 0.045 times 10 to the minus 3rd meters. That gets us an answer of 0 0.0236 meters. And that's it. We've solved the problems.